Beach. He was born July 16, 1862, in Holy Springs, Mississippi. Ida B. Wells Barnett, school teacher, newspaper publisher, turned activist. At the young age of 22, Ida refused to leave a first-class lady's car on a Memphis railway. It took three conductors to drag me off that train. I got a lawyer, and I sued. Wells won $500 from the lawsuit. She took the money and started the Memphis Free Speech. In 1892, Thomas Moss, a respected black store owner and friend, was accused of raping a white woman, dragged out of jail, and hung. That's when Wells started to write articles against lynching. One day, an angry white mob stormed into her office and destroyed everything. They told me that they would kill me if I ever returned to Memphis. Ida left Memphis, but she continued to write articles. They brought her worldwide attention, eventually bringing her anti-lynching campaign right to the White House front door. I felt that one had better die fighting against injustice than to die like a dog or a rat in a trap. Ida B. Wells Barnett. A mother, wife, teacher, journalist, editor, anti-lynching crusader, freedom fighter. Ida B. Wells, Wells.